All right, I'm at 6K Fossil Island Wyverns, which is now basically two times the drop rate for the Ancient Wyvern Shield. My plan was to get it on rate, and then that would be 125 points. And then on the final days or so, I could go start camping Vorkath for the Dragonfire Ward, which would be another 125 points, plus 250 points for wearing all three types of Dragonfire Shield. Fortunately, I haven't hit it on rate, and there's still other stuff I want to do before, or haven't hit it in two times the rate. And there is other stuff I want to do in the next 10 days before the league ends. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill any more Fossil Island Wyverns, to be honest. And 6,000 kills takes a while. So it is what it is. I'm going to get back to Corp now. I'm at 150 KC. That's a Master Combat Task, Corporal Beast Master. Obviously, I've already done the 75 uh, Master Task. Doesn't really mean much for me. Third actual drop, 205 KC, another Spirit Shield. Good luck, I'm Tom. I had an Ellie and uh, Arcane, which is 500 points by 200 KC. He hasn't equipped anything yet because he's saving points for like one last big push at the end of the uh, end of the league. But yeah, by this point, he literally had an Ellie and an Arcane. That is 250 KC, which is another 125 points. No sigil, really depressing to be honest. A woman Kisser got an Ellie on like 69 KC. I'm not sure if he got another one after that, uh, which is 250 points. Tom obviously got, um, what did he get? He got the Ellie and Spectral, so that's 500 points within 200 KC. I know Wolfie went to 500 KC, but I know he got some shields too. Maz obviously got a shield too, but uh, they went a little bit unluckier. But uh, I will come back here for 500 KC. I'm not going to come right now, but yeah, it's just pretty shitty to not have it, to be honest. So with the limited time I have left, like I said, I won't be doing Wyverns anymore until I've completed some other guaranteed points, because with the RNG I've got, I really am running out of time. I'm now doing Temple Spiders for Grubby Keys, which dropped them at a rate of 1 in 100, so I need to kill around 25,000 in total to get the 250 keys. But this is a drop that I can actually see that I'm not going dry on, and while theoretically slower, at least I can guarantee the points. Here's 25 chests for 25 points. Never lucky, dude. Like I said, most of the people in the top, fifth, top 5 have already got this apart from me, so it is pretty unfortunate. We got 6 more rolls of this, so let's see how it goes. On, please, bro, for the culture. For the culture, give me an armor piece. Ay yo. One last roll. Could it be the one? Nope. So the next KC task for Corp is at 500 and I'm at 250 kills. That's going to take anywhere from 12 to 14 hours to do. And it's only for 125 points. Now, Woman Kisser has an Ellie that I know of. He might have another shield, I'm not sure. Good luck on Tom has both an Ellie and a Spectral. So that's 500 points. Wolfie has a shield, I'm not sure which one, he might have two. Maz has a shield too, which is 250 points. Um, I could be throwing it all away by doing this, but like I don't think I literally have a choice. At this point, a lot of the points could do just come down to RNG, and you either get the drop or you don't. Obviously, the sigils are boosted, so I have by 500 kills, I should have at least one. Um, so yeah, I'm deciding to just throw it all away, go for these 500 corp kills, and hope I get the sigils. If I don't, I mean... It is what it is, like I tried, but at the end of the day, like I have to get the RNG if I want to win. I got to like 280 Corp KC, I think, and now I've just been doing some grubby keys, stacking them up, working towards that 250 toss. As I said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the Wyvern Visage now. I think I've got like 100 keys, so I'm just going to go open them for the hard task. That is open 50 grubby chests for 25 league points. Alright, we have like 6 more rolls at this Dragonstone armor piece. 83 chests now, 84, 85, 86... 87, 88. Unfortunate. 400. Like I said, Tom got all three shields. I told you guys he had two. He actually got all three shields within his like 252 KC or whatever he's done. Woman Kisser's obviously got those shields. Uh, yeah, like without a corpse shield, there's pretty much no chance I win, pretty much. Because they're both 250 points. Another spirit shield. Another spirit shield, bro. We probably got six or seven of these now. Finally, dude, 452 KC. I got the spectral. Oh my god, bro. I was rough out here. It was actually rough out here. That's still really unlucky. Like, obviously, I'll take it, bro. That's points. That's 250 points right there. In 50 kills, I got another 125 points. If I could just pull the Ellie in these next 48 kills, bro, that would be huge. If I get an Arcane or anything, I don't get any points. But if I get an Ellie in the next 48 KC, that's another 250 points, and then it'll all be worth it. Where is spectral spirit shield? 250 points, 69,950 now. Very, very nice. Another spirit shield, let's go. And that is 500 corp kills. Can we get an Ellie? We can't, but that has defeat the corporal beast 500 times. We're now over 70,000 points, taking our rank two back. Wolfie and Tom have claimed all their points. All cards are on the table, and I'm still rank two. Unfortunately, no Ellie, no good luck, I'm Tom RNG. Completing 50 grand master combat achievements is a 250 point task, and I'm 13 away. I'm gonna go try and do some of those six jad challenges now. The five jad challenge, the six jad challenge, 
the five to six back to back. I think that might be it, huh? Okay, and that is five jads completed. We've already done it. What I'm trying to do right now is do the five jads into six jads back to back without any issues. So let's see if we can do it. I'll probably go get a full inventive supplies just in case anything does go wrong. But if something does go wrong, I don't think I'm going to be able to out eat it. Okay, well that did not work, so we have to go do five again. All right, we completed five jads again. Let's let's run this one back and go for six. All right, let's just say it was a good thing I brought some manta rays in because that was not fun. But after we got past the first, the second jad wasn't that hard. Two grandmasters done it at once. It wasn't a fluke, and the six jads at once. We need to do eleven more now. Okay, we're gonna carry on with the GMs. One of them is to complete twenty zami kills in one inventory. I don't really know what the best way to do this is. I just stack some brews. I've got an SGS and I've got the spec relics. I think that should be enough, to be honest. We'll see. All right, let's see how this goes. I think I should only really have to SGS spec the minions, I hope. I don't really know. It recharges so quick. Surely I'll be fine. Figured I'd get a hard combat achievement out the way while we're here, which is Demonic Showdown. Okay, and that is the Grandmaster task for completing uh, 20 Zami kills in one inventory. I didn't realize it had a 1 minute 30 respawn in it, so that actually took a lot longer than I expected, but... It do be what it do be. Okay, I'm quickly going to go do 45 hard combat achievements for 50 points. I would do them all, but I am time capped by Hispori. I've only done 8 kills, so I need to wait until I can do 10. Okay, and that is finish off Kree with all bodyguards dead, I'm pretty sure. Yep, which is a hard combat task. And that is finish off Zilliana while all the bodyguards are dead. Yep, nice. I've got to shard 1 as well. Okay, I think that should be 2 hard combat achievements at once, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, General showed- Oh, I just got a BCP too. <laughs> What's going on? General Showdown and Org Freezer. Need to get three more done now. And that is the hard combat task just like that done. I'm doing two and one right now. I just, I'm doing a whole run without any prayer points or some shit too. Okay, and this should be another combat achievement. Yep, Faithless Crypt Run. I just need one more now for 50 points. Did I bring a tally? I didn't. And that should be the Calphite Queen hard combat thing done. Yeah, Chitin. Chitin? I don't know. Oh, I got a D chain too. What's going on, bro? I'm doing all these combat achievements and I'm getting drops. That's 45 hard combat achievements done. 50 more league points, 7,090, right? Just like that. Five days left, and we're still pushing for that rank one. We've uploaded almost 50 videos while doing this, and no one else up here can say the same, so I do take quite a bit of pride in that, but it wouldn't be without the constant support you guys are showing me. This is the final stretch, guys, so for one of the last times ever, let's super violate this YouTube algorithm. For the one time right now, for the culture, scroll down, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your words of wisdom, and honestly, if even 10% of you guys watching this right now like the video, we can hit over 5,000 likes, which I haven't done many times before. So let's do it. All right, we got a Chaos Core, which unlocks a 25 point task for us. Let's go do it. And this should work to give us 25 points. Yeah, it is craft the Chaos Rune using a uh, Chaos Core. 70,115 now. So the Inferno actually has a lot of Grandmaster combat achievements behind it too. Facing Jad head on too, which is basically doing melee all the way up until Zuck. That means I have to do melee triples as well. Um, there's also getting to, uh, killing Zuck without letting my HP fall below 50. There is also completing wave 68 of the Inferno, which is triple Jads, within 30 seconds of the first Jad dying, which means you pretty much have to get all of them lowered, and then as soon as you kill one, you have to kill the other two within 30 seconds. So you have like all the healers alive at one time and stuff like that. There's also one without using any magic spells during the Inferno, which means like obviously no barraging the Nibblers at the start or using any blood barrage or anything. And there's also one for completing uh, Zuck without killing the Jad that spawns during the Zuck fight. So there's five GMs I'm looking to get done. I'm going to do three of them in one go with the melee setup. And then I'm going to do the Jad skip and the three Jads in under 30 seconds in another run with a range setup. And I think that's the best way to go about it. What task are you going for? I'm doing the 50 Grandmaster combat achievements. Taking damage is DPS increase. Yeah, but I don't want to go under 50 HP for the for the GM, you know what I mean? But yeah, I guess you're right. What's the odds that it even hits me, bro? I kill like four hits. So honestly, the melee Inferno with max gear and a scythe is honestly really chill, more chilled out than the range gear. It just means I don't get to bring the range relics for the Zuck fight. Didn't run into any issues with going under 50 HP. I only brought in like one more brew than I have right now in this recording, and I just ate it just to be safe. I could have just obviously SGS spec, but I didn't want to fail it for no reason. Okay, I'm actually a little bit worried about the triples, so. Let's see how this goes. I'm cheesing it with a Crystal Halley. Oh, that's not cheesing it. And I brought Venge, but I didn't even bring runes in my pouch like a cuck.
Kill, kill, kill. Okay, thank God. Bro, kill. Please. There's no way logging out ruins the CA, right? Anyone know? Surely not. I'm gonna want to test them myself. Well, fair enough. This is world record pace, and unfortunately not this time. on my specs, but I'm a choker. I used to be one of the best to ever do it. Oh fuck, what do I do about these healers? Do I power through? Maybe? Okay. Alright, that should be two GMs. Or three! Wasn't even close. Nibbler, Chaser, and facing Jad head on. Let's fucking go. And a world record to go with it too. Bit of a beast, bit of a beast. Let's go. Um, how many more do I have to do? Seven more. And I think I can do two on the next one. But yeah, I gotta go for the Jad skip and the killing the three Jads in under 30 seconds, which I hope I don't mess up, because then I'll have to come back. Missing one. Okay, am I chilling? Oh, no, 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 no. Kill, 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 please. Kill. Surely I get this, right? That did not feel like 30 seconds. Okay, 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 okay. We got it, we got it, we got it. Wish me luck on this jazz skip. So I just need to hit it once and then continue doing Inferno, right? Hopefully I can get a zero set. That's not ideal, is it, B-Dog? Holy fuck. I'm about to spawn Jad, bro. Hopefully I don't actually hit a 200. To confirm the zero set. I'm gonna eat up. Because in case I do take a Jad hit, at least I won't die, you know what I mean? And he no setters, he was up, MC. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Fuck, bro. I just gotta chill out. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God, bro. Okay, it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. We got it. Jad, what are you doing here? Two Zuck tanks. A couple of Jad tanks. But we got it done, bro. We got it done. I think we're all done with Inferno GMs. We could have done the... Doing the one without the melee dig. But fuck all that. 
And that is the Master Combat Task and a Grand Master Combat Task. I'm obviously only here for the GMs. 13 minutes 10. That's a new PB for the four mans. Unfortunately, no purple, no justy legs. But yeah, we did that with two minutes to spare. We're going to do the five man now. And that is the five man GM time. Thank you to everyone who just helped me out with this. Hootie, Lig, Ulyss. Appreciate it, boys. Jerry as well, logging on to his very shit leagues account just to do this. Unfortunately, no justy legs in those two raids. But we're done with top forever now. Thank you, boys. Okay, I'm going to try and cheese the Nightmare a long trip GM without just, without prayer flicking. I'm just not going to pray. I just stack brews and see if it's possible. Bro, I forgot to bring Sand Fuse and I was already too far in, so I thought maybe I could do it and I died on the last phase on the totems. Let's go back with Sand Fuse and we should be able to do it easily. All right, let's run this one back. All right, a long trip is an understatement, but we got that GM done. We only need to do two more now for the next 250 points. Lots of fun that was. We had a full amount of brews, but yeah, a long trip done. 14 minutes, 7 seconds. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's a bunch of Master Combat tasks and a Grand Master Combat task for doing the next duo. We failed one of the things to get another GM done, but we're going to try it again. Shout out, Mouse. And that is 50 Grand Master Combat achievements done. I just ragged the fuck out of a next mask, but that is what it is. TY for GMs. <laughs> Shout out, Jags, for making a legitimate... Um... Yes, yeah, you're a dumbass kid with a T, but LMFAO. Hey, Jags are the one who made the fucking GM something for the... You have to you have to get a kill while coughing, so had to go to a mass and spread the cough a little bit. But we're now at seventy thousand three hundred and sixty-five points. All right, I just completed a hard combat task, the kill ago, unnecessary optimization, which is when I just killed all four kraken tents by itself. Um, not really getting that many krakens or anything. I think I'll go back to grubby keys for a bit, then I'll come back to this later. Okay, finally eight twelve KC. I think that's our fifth kraken tentacle. We need five more. I think these are the last twelve keys I need to reach two hundred grubby chests. I'm pretty sure, if my mathematics is correct. But, you know, it has been quite tragic over the course of the series, so I hope it is. Um, it does give us Crystal Keys too, and we still don't have that Dragonstone Armor piece, so hopefully we can spoon that soon. But yeah, those are 125 points I feel like I really need. But this itself is 125 points. Open 200 grab your chest, 70,490 points. Okay, I'm just attaining the Temple Key now, which will be 25 points. I just have to use like 100 bones of this shit or some shit. Okay, and that is obtaining the Temple Key, which is 25 points. And this should be 25 points, I hope. Yep, using Enriched Bones on the Strange Machine. I failed this like five times last time, popping the little bob and fossils. Not last time, like last leagues. Anyway, 70,540 points. Holding the rank 2 position, and now all the cards are on the table. Both Tom and Wolfie have claimed all their points, but Wolfie's fallen behind a little due to his own RNG. Maz has finally got his scythe, so he has now entered the race for rank 1 as well. And we're all chasing that man, Woman Kisser. Guys, I have 1,300 kids to feed and they're getting really sick of the KFC. We've been ordering so much that they actually ran out of chicken popcorn a couple days ago. If you want to be a part of the cause to help feed my family and keep them safe and maybe get them some healthy food, all you have to do is help this YouTube video do well on the algorithm. Scroll down, click the subscribe button, like the video, and comment down below your words of wisdom for me and my family. There's five days left. Let's get this bread.